hi everyone welcome back for another cleaning motivational video today we'll be cleaning the entire house i will be covering every room so grab yourself a cup of tea and get comfortable also i would like to say thank you thank you very much for 30k subscribers i appreciate all of you and the support so far I'm starting off with the living room because it's the least disorganized room in the house and it will be a quick one to check off the list. I'm doing the usual which is dusting surfaces, vacuuming and then mopping. All the products and equipments I use will be linked in the description box. Also, I realized every time I face the camera towards the windows, the video becomes darker. I may need to invest in a softbox light to balance off the lighting. In the meantime, bear with me on the dark parts. the dining room i'm starting by polishing the deco mirrors using the taco glass cleaner i had guests last week and the bottom part of the mirrors are filled with fingerprints i'm also going to be changing my table mats to some beautiful teal and yellow african ones i really love how they turned out which you'll see later on in the video mopping the floors with leaks bleach as always i just love the smell plus it disinfects the floors too
table mats I got are from Yashi. They come with four coasters too and napkins which I'm not sure if I'll use. She can customize for you in the colors and shape you want. Mine look a bit uneven it's cause um, they've been in the sun drying and hardened but they will flatten up in a bit. I will also link her page and number in the description box for those who are not on Instagram. to the kitchen i need to strip the guest bedrooms beddings to wash this one in particular has been overtaken by three little furry friends we are not keeping them don't worry we are just waiting for them to be strong enough before giving them out While the first load is running, I'm moving to the kitchen. Here I will just do the dishes, dust the black shelves which are so dusty, clean the cooker and the countertop and then mop. So I had to dismantle the dish rack and give it a nice scrub. I like this particular design because it's so much easier to clean and keep up with than the ones that have so many holes that trap a lot of mold. I try as much as possible to keep up with my appliances, especially the cooker, before they get to that stage where it requires an arm and a leg to clean them.
so I ran out of my stainless steel cleaner a while ago so I'm using water plus vinegar mix which I realize actually polishes better than the stainless steel cleaner. the box with the bananas been meaning to put that away but I've just been procrastinating to our room i'm switching out our duvet it's due for a clean then i will dust vacuum and mop also i thought i'll mention this again my curtains and the matching blue runner on the bench and the blue pillows on the seat you'll see later are all from flamboyant interior deco same to my living room carpet please check out her page she has very cute deco pieces
next i'm dealing with the bathrooms i'm starting with ours then moving to the guest one I always use the LSF toilet cleaner from Alex. If you haven't tried this cleaner out, I don't know what you're waiting for. So as usual I can't leave the bathroom without spraying the LSF air freshener on the mats and on the bathroom itself. Spraying the freshener on the mats makes the scent last longer at the same time disinfecting them.
So I removed the corridor rugs and washed them, the outside drying. Though I'm not sure if I will return the black fur one. It collects a lot of dust and particles and it's so hard to vacuum. I may get something different for that area. Outside I want to clean all the shoes, I don't like seeing dirty shoes inside the house, especially after a clean day. I am also going to clean all the dust pins and dust pans. So the last thing I'm doing for the day is finishing up on the guest bedroom. I returned the same sheets but now clean and fresh. Then I vacuumed and mop off camera. My battery actually died at this point. So the next day I'm only dealing with the front porch, I also removed all the covers to wash and I am dusting the area then I sweep and mop.
so that's it for this video guys i hope it gives you all the motivation you need and i will talk to you guys in my next one